Sometimes suspects make such hilarious escape attempts, you cannot help but be impressed by their stupidity. From failed jumps out of windows to betrayals and foolish falls, these perps did not think ahead. Join us as we dive into a world of stupid criminals and their antics. Number 1. The suspect tries to jump out the window. It's not uncommon for suspects to play it cool in front of the cops and then make a break for it later, but sometimes their escape plans fall apart due to a lack of common sense. Take the case of this guy suspected of rape and kidnapping at a hotel in Blue Ash, Ohio, for example. When the police questioned him, he seemed about as sharp as a bowling ball. The cops confronted him in his hotel room and asked him to check the place. Trying to play it cool, the suspect let them in. But when the cops got hold of him and started their inspection, things took a hilarious turn. In a bid to escape, the suspect tried to make a run for it out the window. It could have been a brilliant move, if luck or some basic common sense had been on his side. As soon as the cop's grip loosened, he sprinted towards the window and tried to jump out. The only problem? The window wasn't open. Okay. He ended up bouncing right back into the room, landing flat on his face and getting caught by the police. Number two, the dumb couple at the Ready Mart. Our next case is about a dumb couple who thought they could outrun the police and escape easily. The incident took place in Spruce Grove, Edmonton, Canada. The guy had been caught trying to buy a can of soda with a stolen credit card. The police were called in quickly. The dumb guy quickly shoved his girlfriend onto the officer in an attempt to escape. Getting his shirt completely ripped off and his girlfriend tangled onto the cop, the guy makes a run for it. Without his shirt on, he escapes to the back of the store and aimlessly tries to find an exit. At the same time, the officers caught up to him with a taser gun and he quickly hid behind an aisle. And to top off the event, he even grabs a self-defense tool from the aisle, a salted pack of chips. After realizing that he has no chance to win against the cops, he lies down on the ground in an attempt to surrender. When his girlfriend Brittany comes close to the aisle, the policeman warns her to stay away. Well, that's when the poor guy made the worst decision of the day to try and subsidize the cop, and in return, got a taste of the high-voltage taser. Brittany, on the other hand, tries to find an escape, but with the front door sealed by the owner of the mart, so she comes up with an even more daring idea. She quickly runs to the back of the store and climbs in the ventilator in an attempt to run away. But her attempt fails miserably when she falls from the ventilator onto an aisle in an attempt to escape. Well, I guess falling that hard from the vent would have knocked some sense into her as she surrendered to the cops in no time. Number three, the young suspect getting out of the window. Quantrill D. Schwartzlow, the teen Houdini, staged a jaw-dropping escape from a sheriff's office, proving that all it takes is a window and a moment of inattention to outsmart the law. Arrested for assault suspicion at Orfordville Parkview High School, Schwartzlow found himself alone in an interview room, the perfect stage for his escape act. CCTV footage captured the daring breakout. Schwartzlow, with a mischievous glint in his eye, peered out the window. Then, like a scene from an action movie, flung it open and hurled himself into the open air, sprinting away into the parking lot. By the time the sheriff returned, the room was empty, the window wide open, and Schwartzlow's escape a reality. Oh, no! The alarm was raised and police teams went into overdrive to nab the escape artist. Schwartzlow's taste of freedom was short-lived, though, as he was apprehended later that day, no doubt left to ponder the consequences of his hilarious escapade. <laughs> Number four, the suspect with some athletic skills. In another adrenaline-fueled California caper, 21-year-old Emilia Manzano became the star of a high-speed car chase through the streets of LA. With nerves of steel and a lead foot, she pushed her speedometer to a whopping 95 miles per hour, 
deftly dodging other vehicles like a seasoned stunt driver. Amelia's skills behind the wheel were nothing short of spectacular as she weaved through traffic, leaving the cops in her dust. But when she realized she couldn't shake them off, she and her partner in crime ditched the car and took off on foot. But here's where the story takes a truly Hollywood turn. With her partner trailing behind, Amelia showcased her acrobatic prowess by scaling the roofs of residential houses. Desperate for an escape route, she took a daring leap from one roof to another, then another, until she landed on the roof of a parked car below. If it were my car, I would have been ready to teach her a lesson right then and there. Despite her daring moves, Amelia and her partner eventually ran out of luck and had no choice but to surrender to the cops. After sharing a dramatic hug, they faced the music, knowing that their escapades could have led to far more serious consequences. This duo may evoke shades of Bonnie and Clyde, but let's face it, they're a bit on the dimmer side compared to the infamous crime couple. Number 5. The idiotic jump-off from Buckhead Apartment In a spectacular display of impulsive folly, a suspect in a Buckhead residential apartment building made a gravity-defying leap from a towering 55-foot park view, a decision that left him in a far worse state than DeMarco Taylor. This escapade serves as a testament to the perils of acting before thinking. The drama happened after police received a report of an auto theft crime and swiftly located the suspect in a car in the upper plot of the building. As officers moved in to make an arrest, the suspect, driven by panic or sheer recklessness, abruptly took off in the car, leading to a dramatic crash. While one suspect was promptly apprehended, another, cloaked in a nondescript grey hoodie, saw an opportunity for escape. A tenacious officer pursued the fleeing suspect, closing in for what seemed like an inevitable arrest. However, in a moment of sheer folly, the suspect made a fateful decision to leap off the park view in a bid for freedom. Sadly, his estimate of the height proved catastrophically inaccurate, resulting in a bone-chilling 55-foot plunge to the ground below. Miraculously, the suspect survived the harrowing fall and was swiftly transported to a hospital, where he was reported to be in stable condition. Both suspects were ultimately arrested and three firearms were recovered from the scene. Number 6. The Suspect Who Stole the Car Twice In a move that would make even the most seasoned criminals shake their heads in disbelief, a suspect in Coco pulled off a stunt that was as bonkers as a clown on roller skates. This guy didn't just steal a police patrol car once. No, he went for the encore and did it twice, right under the noses of a whole squadron of cops. If there was an award for most daring car thief, this guy would have bagged it, hands down. So a suspect, with the stealth of a ninja and the cunning of a fox, manages to swipe a patrol car amidst a sea of police officers. But instead of high-fiving himself and calling it a day, he decides he's not done. So what does he do? He goes for the sequel, of course. After a wild chase that probably had the cops questioning their life choices, he pulls off the ultimate switcheroo and nabs another patrol car, leaving everyone scratching their heads and wondering if they're in the middle of a Hollywood blockbuster. The chase that followed was straight out of a movie, full of twists, turns, and probably a few oh crap moments. The suspect weaved through traffic like a pro, leaving the cops in his rearview mirror and probably questioning their driving skills. But as all good stories go, this one had to come to an end. The stolen car was eventually disabled, and the suspect, with all his grandeur, was forced to surrender to the cops. Number 7. The Walmart Chase In a dramatic turn of events, a Walmart store became the scene of a thrilling chase involving murder suspect Shanaja Jones. As police closed in on her, the store was thrown into chaos as she attempted to evade capture. However, Shanaja's escape was short-lived as police quickly surrounded her, leading to her eventual apprehension. 
Despite initially protesting her innocence, Shanaja's demeanor changed as the gravity of the situation set in. She was swiftly pushed to the ground and taken into custody. The drama continued as officers learned of another suspect, Walter Robinson, still inside the store. They re-entered and promptly apprehended him. For the shoppers caught up in the commotion, it was a surreal experience witnessing such intense police action in the midst of their everyday activities. As Shanaja awaited sentencing, the Walmart chase remained a vivid and unforgettable event in the store's history. Number 8. Suspect ran to the daycare. In a bizarre and disturbing turn of events, a felonious assault suspect in Ohio, Lamar Mitchell, took evasion tactics to a whole new level, highlighting just how wild things can get in the Buckeye State. The scene played out like a scene from a crime thriller with twists and turns that left authorities and onlookers alike in disbelief. It all began when police attempted to pull over Mitchell's vehicle. Instead of complying, Mitchell made a reckless decision to flee, leading officers on a high-speed pursuit that ended on North Park Avenue. With the police closing in, Mitchell abandoned his vehicle and attempted to escape on foot, seeking refuge in a nearby daycare center. As if straight out of a nightmare, Mitchell barged into the daycare, where a teacher was in the process of closing up for the day. Ignoring the safety of the children, Mitchell raised his hand in a threatening manner, indicating he was armed and ready to shoot. Despite the police's attempts to subdue him with a taser, Mitchell managed to evade their efforts. In a horrifying turn of events, Mitchell entered a room filled with young children, putting their lives in danger and causing chaos and panic. The situation was a parent's worst nightmare with the safety of innocent children hanging in the balance. Thankfully, the police were able to quickly surround and apprehend Mitchell, bringing an end to the harrowing ordeal. Mitchell now faces a slew of charges for his reckless and dangerous actions, including harming a child in the daycare. Number 9. The Escape of Zeus Martinez In Bentonville, Arkansas, there was this wild incident where a suspect Zeus Martinez pulled a disappearing act right under the noses of the cops. The suspects were lined up like ducks in a row, ready to be transferred from court to prison, when Zeus, like a ninja, slipped away when the cops weren't looking. Zeus seized the moment, sprinting as if his life depended on it, which let's be real, it did. He didn't just put some distance between him and the cops, he vanished into thin air leaving them scratching their heads. The cherry on top? When Zeus leapt off a fence like a gazelle, stuck the landing and bolted into the sunset. Victory dance time, right? Not so fast. His triumphant run was short-lived thanks to a vigilant citizen who lent a hand to the cops. Zeus was back in custody faster than you can say, Houdini. Number 10, the failed attempt of escape of Rayton Woodford. In Louisville, Kentucky, the courtroom witnessed a bizarre and bold escape attempt by Rayton Woodford, accompanied by his girlfriend during his probation revocation hearing. Rayton, previously charged with drug and weapon offenses, was facing the consequences of violating his probation terms. The hearing proceeded smoothly, with the detective presenting his testimony. However, when the judge's decision didn't swing in Rayton's favor, he made a reckless move. In a room filled with officials and police officers, Rayton bolted for the exit, pushing past anyone who tried to stop him. Despite his efforts, Rayton only managed to reach the courtroom doors before being swiftly apprehended and brought back in. His escape attempt not only failed, but also led to an increase in his punishment as expected. Number 11, the infamous Tesla run. In a high-octane chase, two suspects in a Lexus tore through South Florida at a blistering 140 miles an hour, pulling dangerous stunts to shake off the cops. The chaos ramped up when one suspect leapt out, brandishing a long gun, and tried to carjack a vehicle they had just cut off. The driver, with nerves of steel, 
refused to open the door. The madness kicked into overdrive as the suspect spotted a white Tesla and forcibly removed the driver, Dr. Emilian Christia. In shock, Dr. Christia backed away with his hands up, his cell phone still in the car. Thinking fast, he used his Apple Watch to call his wife, Daniela, firing off frantic messages. Terrible accident, cop's gun, I'm okay, though she couldn't fully grasp the horror. Daniela rushed to the scene, which was a chaotic mess of helicopters and 40-50 police cars. The cops managed to T-bone the Tesla, forcing the suspect to appear to surrender. But in a wild twist, the suspect bolted, sprinting through backyards, stripping off clothes and wading into a canal. Even a duck got caught up in the madness. The suspect then tried to hijack a parked SUV before ducking into an open garage. Finally, he emerged with his hands up, stripped down to just red underwear. Number 12. Cops also need help sometimes. In South Los Angeles and Harbor, a high-octane police chase of a robbery suspect happened for over an hour. The chaos began around 3 p.m. as the suspect raced through the streets in a dark Mercedes sedan, a multicolored flag flapping out of the sunroof like a twisted parade. The suspect sped south on the 405, then onto the 110 northbound in harbor with seven LAPD units in pursuit. He wasn't just reckless, he was wanted for robbery and rumored to be armed. At one point, he tossed something out the window, likely a handgun, quickly retrieved by the cops. After an hour of tension, the suspect took an exit onto Crenshaw Boulevard, only to hit a gridlock. Desperate, he swerved onto the sidewalk, but found himself boxed in. A grey pickup truck then pinned the Mercedes, leaving the suspect cornered. Realising his luck had run out, the suspect surrendered, crawling out headfirst onto the asphalt. He was apprehended, ending a chase that could have been from an action movie. Number 13. A Hollywood-style car chase. Car chases are as ingrained in LA culture as Hollywood itself, but these guys combined the two in a way nobody had before. Instead of putting a car chase into the movies, they brought the movies to the car chase. They jacked the convertible, dropped the top like true Hollywood big shots, and took off on a wild tour of LA's iconic landmarks, all while putting on a hell of a show. Can you think of anything more quintessentially Los Angeles than doing donuts in a stolen Mustang on Hollywood Boulevard? Yeah, me neither. These guys had a flair for the dramatic and made sure everyone knew it. They were stunt drivers and showmen rolled into one, turning the city into their stage. Eventually, they decided to call it quits, but not without a grand finale. Like true performers, they took a moment to bask in the spotlight taking selfies with fans, posing on their shiny, stolen ride, and soaking in the adoration. Only then did they casually hand themselves over to the police, leaving behind a trail of chaos and one hell of a story for the LA history books. Number 14. The drug man got caught red-handed. Hold on to your seats for this wild ride. This suspect wasn't just trying to outrun the cops. They were practically running a mobile drug cartel and armory on wheels. It all started with a high-speed chase. After a game of cat and mouse, the cops finally nabbed the suspect. With a swift motion, the officers tore through the car and found more than just a drug stash. This genius had a whole damn recipe book detailing their drug dealing escapades. But wait, there's more. Tucked away in their bag were firearms, adding weapons charges to the mix. It's like they were trying to win a prize for the most idiotic criminal of the year. The cops didn't waste a second. They swooped in, cuffed the suspect, and hauled them off to the slammer faster than you can say, bad life choices. Number 15. The man who carjacked police patrol. This guy carjacked a truck with a woman inside and they blasted off at a mind-boggling 110 miles per hour, setting the stage for a police chase like no other. It was a full-throttle pursuit, 
with the truck ramming into police cars several times in a desperate bid to escape. But their escape plan went sideways, literally, as they careened off the road and crashed into the desert, kicking up a dramatic cloud of dust and debris. The man didn't skip a beat. He bolted from the wreckage, but here's where things get really bizarre. Instead of making a run for it, he did a 180 and started sprinting back toward the cops. It looked like a mistake at first, or maybe he was disoriented, but then it became clear. He was aiming for a different set of wheels. In a bold move, he hopped into a police car and peeled off, launching a second chase that lasted another heart-pounding 20 minutes. The cops weren't about to let him get away with their ride, though. They managed to box him in and reclaim their car, bringing this wild roller coaster chase to a dramatic conclusion. Number 16. The funniest hide and seek from the SWAT officers. When an unidentified man running away from the SWAT officers enters a basement and is looking for either an escape or somewhere to hide while keeping the SWAT officers in check. He quickly scans the room and finds no place to escape except for the only door where the officers can enter at any time. Meanwhile, our amazing SWAT officers are also just about to enter the basement. This could have been the stupidest way of hiding from the cops, but for this guy, luck was on his side as the SWAT officers entered the basement. The unidentified man was just standing in the corner hiding behind a basket of stuff. Number 17 the suspect who tried to outrun the police and hide drugs. Another heroic case emerged on the internet after the clip of a drug dealer expert who was caught by the cops and detained until they found the drugs. All this starts when police officers recognize and identify a person as the prime suspect in a drug case. They walk over to him to ask a few questions and surprisingly, he manages to convince everyone that he may not be the suspect, but when things get a bit serious, this unidentified person, upon the arrival of other new cops, makes a run from there. Getting aware of the situation, the officer quickly runs after him and tries to catch him. The suspect speeds up and turns different corners. Eventually, the cops almost lost the trail of him, but luckily enough, the police managed to find the unidentified person in a small space under his house. It was then that the suspect finally knew that he was already screwed. The police quickly pulled out from under the house and detained him in cuffs. He then starts to tell the cops that he is innocent and all but it is far away from the truth. After the suspect was detained in the car, the cops wasted no time, searching the space under the house where the suspect had initially hidden and brought out the drugs hidden under it. Now that the deer was caught in red light, the suspect became obedient, and this is how the crazy chase between the suspect and the police officer came to an end. Number 18. The poor attempt to flee. Another failed attempt to flee was caught by the cops. Once again, this case took place when the police approached a person who was standing outside a house without a shirt on, and he calmly responded to their query. He was calmly talking to the cops, but his act was completely fabricated and soon enough the cops caught up to him and the suspect then started dashing and escaped from there. All right, and if you think about running and all that, I promise you, you're not gonna make it. All right, I'm a lot faster than you think. All the cops run after him and try to catch him, but he quickly keeps on turning in an attempt to shake off the police officers. But to his bad luck, the police officer soon catches up to him and asks him to get on the ground. But the most hilarious part was when the suspect was surrounded by the police officers, but the most unlucky part for the poor suspect was him getting a cramp on his leg. Finally, after the suspect's leg was functioning again and the suspect was now physically okay, the police picked him up and took him with them to get arrested. I would say the suspect may have escaped this arrest only if his leg wasn't lagging. That's a wrap on the top 18 ways suspects gave the slip to the fuzz. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, keep it real, stay safe, and catch you on the flip side for more crazy escapes.